Hey guys, what's up? It's Greggles from the Greggles and Dan Show. Today I'm going to show you the Android TV remote control app from the Google Play Store so you can control your, you can control your Nvidia Shield and any other Android TV. It's a free app. You can find it, like I said, in the Google Play Store. A little bit hard to see, but there it is right there. Once you download it, just hit open. Very easy to set up. It should find your device under Manage Connections over here. Manage Connections. And then you'll, it'll start searching for your uh, Android Shield. If it doesn't find it, restart your uh, phone. I had to do that and then it found it. So tap that. It connects. It's going to usually ask for a code. I've already connected mine earlier. So otherwise it will ask for a code and it'll show up on your TV as well. You enter that code that's on your TV into the app and it automatically connects. Runs off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So if you're doing it off Wi-Fi and it does Wi-Fi automatically, um, it'll pick it up anywhere in your house. So it has great distance. So it works really, really well. So I'll go over here just a little bit. So you guys can see the TV too. So you have a bunch of options you can do here. You have the back button. You have the home button, and then you have a pay, play pause button. Also in here, you can change this to a touchpad. So now you see the up, down, right, but down buttons are gone. You can use it as a touchpad. You can see my TV in the back. I'm moving to the left and the right. But then you still have your back home play buttons. You also have a talk button. Let's try that. Sometimes I have a little bit of, I don't really have good luck with it. Uh, it seems inconsistent. This app's definitely not perfect, but it's cool if you don't want to buy an extra remote for your Shield TV. Sonic the Hedgehog. So to see, you can talk into it and search for it anyway, and it'll search on your Android TV. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I did have some trouble with working. Let's see if it works again. I'll search for Minecraft. Minecraft. And it seems to be working really well, so that's a plus. Hit the home button again. Um, you can use it in any app. Um, it's not going to work for games or any TV app. So, for instance, you have um, TVMC. Let's see what done right here. I was trying to use it in the keyboard, but the keyboard would not work for me. You can see I can pull up a keyboard by hitting the button up top here. I'll show you again. And when you search, it doesn't pull anything up, so I couldn't get the keyboard to work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it wouldn't work. But nonetheless, like I said, you can uh, use this to uh, play movies and pause movies and things like that. So it works really well. Other than that, it just, like I said, if you want to use it to um, not, have, if you don't want to have to buy another remote or you lose your remote or whatever the reason is, it's a great app to to get. I'll put a link for it in the description down below. You have to use it on your tablet or your phone. It's not going to obviously work on your Shield TV because your Shield TV is the receiver. So anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for watching.